In this video, we'll look at two of the modes that we can run Karma CPU in. Switching between them can sometimes help to return fully resolved renders more quickly in order to analyze the noise in your images. Okay, let's take a look at the progressive versus bucket section of our HIP file. Uh, in this, we have a Cornell box and a Karma render setting. So it's a very simple setup, and we're going to use this scene just because it's got a pretty good amount of noise that we're going to be able to take a look at it. So let's first uh, define what a bucket is, right? So a bucket is a way that we can split up our images into separate kind of distinct render regions, um, and then the renderer will take those and process them in a certain order. So in this case, um, we have two different options. We have progressive and bucket. Now, the bucket option is only available for CPU. So this is really what we're going to be talking about here. If you're using XPU, um, you only have the progressive option. But with CPU, we have another option called bucket, and we'll talk about uh, how those two differ in a little bit. So we have this way to segment the, the image in a bunch of different ways and kind of change the order of how we're rendering these buckets. But let's go down to our live render here, and we're going to kick off a render here, a Karma CPU render. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to minimize this and go over to the render gallery. And let's start this off. And now you can see we have our render here and it's starting to resolve the image. Now this is progressive mode by default and you'll see that these images kind of slowly, slowly reduce in the amount of noise in them. And it seems sort of uniform, but there is actually a pattern to how these buckets are being resolved. However, um, they're doing it kind of one um, level of noise at a time. So adding another level of sample each time that is progressively getting towards the end there. So that's why you see this kind of slow resolution of the actual image. Now. There is the other mode that we can go into, and that's bucket. So let's take a look at how we can switch between those. So here's our Karma render settings. We're going to go over to advanced, and in this here, you can see there's a buckets and caching section. In here, we can change the mode. So right now, we're in progressive. Uh, we also have the option to change bucket size, and we'll talk about that in a second. Let's get over to this bucket image mode and see what happens here. So now what you're going to notice is that we're actually resolving all the way to its full um, sampling in these kind of squares and it's kind of uh, uh, spiraling out from the center here. And this is the middle bucket order. So that's the bucket order that we're seeing. So let's do something just to kind of make this a little bit more obvious here, uh, because this is still fairly noisy. Let's kick this up a little bit. Maybe we'll go to 25 for right now. And what you'll see is that these are going to get increasingly smooth in here. You're going to definitely notice it when we get up to these lines and things like that here. So uh, now we're getting a pretty smooth render and we can see really the final result of this render when each of those buckets clear. So this is a way that we can kind of get to the final resolution, uh, you know, the final quality of our image quite a bit more quickly. Uh, so let's take a look at this bucket size here. So let's just take this from 32 down to 16. We'll see how this actually divides it into smaller little sections. Um, we're actually not seeing the, the visualization of the actual um, buckets themselves here because um, in this mode, um, we're not going to be actually seeing the little boxes and things like that. But if you are in um, the mplay render, you will actually see that. So now that we've changed these bucket sizes, um, we've got a much smaller little area that it's kind of resolving in each step. Now let's let's really kick this up and you'll probably see this quite a bit easier if we go up to something like 64. Now we're gonna have really big blocks that are gonna be resolving and they're gonna take a little bit slower uh, for each of those blocks to clear because there's just more uh, processing that has to happen per individual bucket. Uh, so that kind of, that resolved area is kind of going away in bigger chunks now because the bucket sizes are much larger. So one important thing just to remember here is that um, if we're resolving it over smaller buckets, so if we go back down to something like 16, um, it can be really important because we're actually um, using more of our cores to kind of work on some of these higher areas where we might need more samples and things like that. So um, if there's a part of your scene that is really struggling to kind of render and it's taking a long time, um, making those smaller buckets might allow you to kind of focus that rendering on that area a little bit easier and have more cores and threads working in that little hard hard to render area uh, versus going all the way through the full render and then being done. So that's just an option to be able to get to a little bit of a quicker render if you'd like. Um, another thing too is that um, this will change the amount of memory being used. So just keep that in mind as well. It's going to use uh, different amounts of memory based on the size of your of your bucket. So just keep that uh, in your in your mind as you're working uh, in this. So I'm going to set this back to its default. And let's just look at the bucket order here. So we can do things like say in our render, we have this bottom that's really noisy. Well, maybe we want to resolve that first. So in this case, now it's going to go bottom to top and we're going to see these, these buckets uh, kind of crawling their way up 
uh, the, the render. We could likewise do it from the left and we're going to resolve this left side first. Um, so you can see how you could kind of focus your attention on certain areas if you wanted to um, with the bucket order. So that could be really, really helpful. Now, another thing that just, just setting this into bucket mode can be really helpful for is when you want to do actual um, targeted kind of uh, render regions. So in this case, maybe this is the part that I'm really worried about. So what I can do is I can just shift click and draw in this uh, render gallery and this is going to only render in here, and we're gonna get um, to our final rendered image obviously quite a bit quicker there. Now, if I turn the samples uh, way up, something like 49, it's gonna take a little longer for us to get to that final resolution, right? Um, but you're gonna see that in that, um, those as those buckets clear, we're getting to kind of the full quality much quicker, uh, so we can, we can check and see how our render is actually going here. So if I was to up this even further, like say all the way to 100, some of these buckets are gonna finish, and then we're gonna wait for some other ones to clear as well. So um, this is a really kind of quick way to be able to see that result more, more quickly than in the progressive mode where we have to wait for this whole thing to resolve and see what is our actual final uh, rendered quality going to be. Uh, now, normally you're not gonna be going quite up to this level of primary samples, uh, but it's just something to know that when you have a more complicated scene, um, you'll get these, these high quality renders uh, in these areas quicker, and especially if we're using something like bucket mode, um, you can get those to actually, to see those actual finished uh, sections much, much faster. So hopefully this helps and gives you some idea of what, um, what you can do to kind of target your renders and get to that final finished image quite a bit quicker. In the next video, we're gonna kick off a series of videos that are going to focus on reducing CPU noise. So we're gonna be taking an initial just rough image that's uh, very noisy and slowly resolving it step-by-step step to get to our final image.